Grace, are you still there? Please, answer me. I need to tell you how much I'm anticipating tomorrow. It's going to be such a special day for us. We're finally going to meet your parents face to face. And we can discuss our plans for the engagement and the wedding. It really feels like we've been waiting for this moment forever. I'm here, Mario. And I feel the same way. I'm so happy that we're finally taking this step to make our relationship official. My parents are over the moon about it too. <laughs> they can't wait to meet you. Welcome you to the family. I just really hope that you and my dad hit it off when you see each other tomorrow. Of course, we will. He's your father after all. By the way, what does your dad do for a living again? And where did he go to college? I don't think my son ever mentioned that to me. Well, actually, my dad didn't go to college. He didn't even finish high school. He only has his GED and he got that much later in life. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Your dad didn't even graduate from high school? How did that happen? How did he end up like that, huh? It's a long story, Mario. My dad comes from a very poor background, and he had to make some tough choices when he was young. He had to work more than he had to study because his family was struggling to survive. They were living with his grandma in a tiny house, and they needed every penny they could to pay the bills and feed everyone. But he never gave up on his dreams. He worked hard and learned everything he could on the job. He was able to use his skills and experience to start his own business. And he made it a success. He's one of the best in his industry. I'm really proud of my dad and everything he's done to improve his life and the lives of his family. Wow. I had no clue about any of this. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it is. But you know what? I really hope that you both can respect each other and get along well. Are you serious? You expect me to respect your dad, huh? You're going to bring your uneducated, ignorant, low-class dad to my house tomorrow? What? What are you saying? How could you talk like that about my dad? He's not uneducated. He's self-taught. I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. If your dad couldn't even finish high school, then he's nothing but a fool. A fool who raised a fool. I had no idea what kind of person your dad was. And I'm really disappointed in you. You've wasted my time and my son's time. You've deceived us. You've made us believe that you were someone you're not. I'm calling off this wedding. It's obvious to me that you're not good enough to be with my son. You don't belong in our family. You belong in the gutter with your dad. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you say such horrible things about me and my dad? You have no right to decide anything for us. This is between me and Winston. We love each other and we want to be together. Why do you care so much about what kind of education my dad had when he clearly proved himself in life? Because education is everything. You idiot. It's the only way to measure someone's worth. And I can tell a lot about someone from just their education. And you know what? I did some digging into your background too. I wasn't impressed, but I was willing to overlook it. But now that I know this about your father, I'm afraid it's a deal breaker. I can't let my son marry into such a disgraceful family. Sir, please, I beg you, stop slandering my father. He's a good man, and I respect him more than anyone in the world. And you're just not being fair at all. You're being cruel and unjust. Do you realize that you're being bigoted and narrow-minded? I understand that you're Winston's father, and I respect that. But you're being incredibly rude and hurtful to me right now. You're breaking my heart. So what? Who cares if I'm being rude to some imbecile's daughter? You should be thankful that I even gave you a glance. Why don't you open your eyes and realize where you're standing right now? You're standing in front of a man who holds the power over your future. And you've just made the worst mistake of your life. Mario, you really need to stop this madness right now. You're going way too far with this. You keep telling me that my father's a loser and that's so rude. I mean, I really don't see how my dad's education level has anything to do with me marrying your son. Do you really think that you could judge someone's character and worth just from looking at their diploma? I really think you're going to regret this if you don't wait until tomorrow to hear an amazing story about how my dad turned his life around. I'm sure that once you hear the whole truth, you'll change your mind and see how wonderful my dad is. What is this? Some kind of brainwashing scheme or something? Because I don't need to hear any kind of fairy tale to be convinced. Besides, you're not going to set foot in my house tomorrow, and there isn't going to be any meeting. I'm sorry, but we've had this arranged for months. 
Winston and I are going to be getting married, and our parents have to meet. Is this really how you want to start your relationship with your future father-in-law? Please, Mario, I would really appreciate it if you could just give my dad a chance. Just wait until tomorrow before you make any rash decisions about him. Winston, are you still there? Please respond to me. I just had the most awful conversation with your dad. He was completely obsessed with my dad's lack of education. He couldn't get over the fact that my dad didn't finish high school. Wait, what? I'm sorry? What are you talking about? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? Tomorrow, Winston, I'm talking about our meeting tomorrow. The one we've been planning for so long. The one where our parents are supposed to meet for the first time. Your dad just called me out of the blue, and he got really angry when he found out that my dad didn't even finish high school. He was calling him all kinds of horrible names and insulting him and me. Oh no, he did that? But I'm not surprised. But I'm so sorry that he contacted you just to say those things to you. Yes, unfortunately, my dad is an elitist. There's no other way to describe him. Ever since I was a kid, he was telling me that I had to go to the best schools or else I would be a failure. I mean, I had to get therapy after I moved out of the house to deal with some of the damage that he caused me growing up. But I didn't think he would subject other people to his harsh standards. Oh, Winston, I had no idea this was going to be such a problem with your dad. I'm sorry you had to endure that. I know, but that's all in the past. I just can't believe that he would say those things about the father of the woman I'm going to marry. The woman I love more than anything. Well, what do you think we should do about tomorrow? Do you just want to cancel the meeting? Your dad sounded like he had no interest in meeting my parents after our talk. Well, no matter what he says, it's not going to change the fact that we're getting married. I'm not going to let my dad's prejudice ruin that. I'll tell you that much. Let me talk to him and try to calm him down. Of course, I won't tell him what your dad actually does for a living. We can wait for tomorrow for him to find out for himself. Thank you for doing that, Winston. I know my dad prefers to tell his story himself, so it didn't get twisted or misunderstood. Of course, I totally understand. I'll tell my dad to stop being so critical and narrow-minded. I'm sure that he'll really be shocked when he finally meets your dad and hears about what he does. I mean, even I was blown away when I met your dad and learned more about him. Everyone seems to have that reaction, but it's so strange to me because to me, he's just my dad. Of course, I admire him a lot, but at the end of the day, he's my dad first, you know? It makes perfect sense to me, but I really can't wait to see the expression on my dad's face when he realizes who your dad really is. Maybe that will finally make him see the light. I guess. We can only hope so. I should have trusted my gut feeling. You were always hiding something from me. And yet, you had the nerve to bring your worthless father to my home, to my sanctuary. Well, you can forget about ever seeing or talking to my son again. Do you hear me? He is dead to you. How can you be so cruel? You attacked my father without any provocation. Just because I mentioned that he dropped out of school. You know what you did is a felony, right? You can go to jail for this. Ha! Huh. You really think that anyone is going to believe your pathetic story? You and your family are nothing but losers. Well, listen, you lowlife. The wedding is off, and I want you to get out of my sight and never come near my family again. That's not a request. That's a command. Do you get it? Huh? A command? Who do you think you are? You have no authority over me. I'm not your slave or your servant. Do you get that? You're not the only one who acted like a savage over something as trivial as someone's education. If you think you have any right to order me around, you're delusional. How dare you speak to me like that? You're just bitter because I'm not going to let you join our prestigious family. But don't blame me for this. Blame your father for being a failure and a disappointment. <laughs> you mean even after you humiliated him, you still have the audacity to despise him like that? Well, don't worry. We want nothing to do with you either. We'll call off the wedding. No problem at all. Well, of course you will, because I told you to. <laughs> 
Did you really think that I was ever going to let a girl from a low-class family like yours marry my son? But like I said, this is not my fault. You can go and cry to your father that it's all because of him. Oh, I've already talked to my father, and he told me that we're cutting all ties with you. Wait, what? What does that mean? What do you mean that you talked to your father and he said that he's cutting all ties with me? Well, what else did you expect him to do after what you did? As soon as we got home, my father called his headquarters to check if we had any ongoing contracts with your company, and he canceled them all. He told his secretary to tell your company to ask you why this is happening. What contracts are you talking about? Why would your father's shabby little store be working with my company? So you still haven't figured it out, have you? I thought you would have recognized him by now, but I guess you didn't pay attention to him. What do you mean? I didn't pay attention to him. Is he supposed to be someone important or something? Why would I care about some uneducated nobody like him? I guess I'll have to spell it out for you then. My father is the company president of Carco. Wait a minute. Carco? You mean Carco? As in the world-renowned vehicle manufacturers? That company? That's right. That's the one, and the president of the company is my father. So tell me again, how elite is your family? How you were too good to let me marry your son? Because compared to my family, you're really insignificant. I mean, you weren't even smart enough to recognize my father when he was standing right in front of you. Now, wait just a minute. Is this some kind of prank or something? Your father didn't even finish high school. There's no way that he's the president of a company like Carco. You're just making up, right? You do realize you're only making things worse for yourself every insult you throw at him, right? Yes, my father never graduated high school, but that was your mistake to judge him for that. Wait a minute. I just received a phone call from my company. They informed us that Carco was terminating all their contracts with us effective immediately. But then, that means your dad is really the president of Carco? That's right. I tried to warn you multiple times, but you just wouldn't listen to me at all. I wish that I could have been there in person to witness your reaction right now. I bet the shock and disbelief on your face is just priceless. But I'd imagine after this, you're not only getting fired from your job, but also blacklisted from every other company in the industry. Of course, what else could you really expect after behaving the way you did to him? But if you lose those contracts, then how was my company even supposed to survive in this market? Please, tell me that you're just playing a cruel prank on me. This can't be happening right now. This can't be real. If you're so surprised, I don't blame you. This is the natural consequence for someone like you. You were the only one who constantly insulted my dad, and you were the only one who physically assaulted him, and now you're facing the repercussions of what you've done. So then, it's really true. Everything that you've been telling me this whole time is really true. You're really the daughter of the company president of Carco? Man, you really aren't as smart as you boast about being. Did you finally realize that for the last time? Yes, it's true. But don't worry about canceling the marriage. I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't want to join your family anyways. I already told Winston that I didn't want to have you as a father-in-law. But wait, hold on. If you're really the daughter of the company president of Carco, then please accept my sincerest apologies. Of course, you can marry my son. And I'm sorry that I ever gave you any reason to think otherwise. Wow, you really changed your tune quickly, didn't you? But I'm afraid that's not going to work on me. I don't want anything to do with you or your family ever again. I talked to Winston and he said he was fine calling the wedding off as well. Please, wait. Don't say that. I know I said I didn't want you two to get married. But that's not my decision to make. That should be between you and my son. I know, and I talked to your son, and we agreed that we're calling off the engagement. But I don't understand. Why would you do that? Well, because I told him if we got married, I wouldn't want to have any contact with you ever again. Wait, so then if you two got married, then Winston would never ever talk to me again. What did he say to that? Well, I told him that. He said that he'd have to think about it. 
and I told him that I'd respect his decision, whatever it was, so the wedding's off. But wait! Please, can't you just let me try and talk to your parents and smooth all this over? I'm sure that I could if you just give me a chance. That is not gonna happen. You do realize you assaulted my dad, right? What makes you think I'm going to arrange for a meeting with you after you've done that? Please. I really had no idea at all who your dad was. And that was a huge mistake on my part. I realize that now. I had no idea that things were going to turn out this way. Well, I don't see why you think that's our problem. You did this. So now accept responsibility like an adult, including for the assault. So what? You're really going to press charges against me for what I did? Please, I didn't think that I committed a crime or anything like that. It was just a little scuffle within the family. That's all. Scuffle within the family? How could that be when I'm not married to your son yet? And did you really think you could get away with punching someone in the face just because they didn't finish high school? But, I mean, assault sounds so bad. I really didn't think that it would end up this way. Just because you finally realize that you've actually done something wrong doesn't mean that anything is going to change. You can't just take back what you did. Besides, we've already made up our minds and we're going to file a police report against you. No, please, don't do that. Why would you go to such an extreme measure? Why would you involve the police in this? Because you punched my dad. Are you really that dense? Do you really not understand the gravity of this situation? But if the police show up for what I did, then they might arrest me. I'll be in serious trouble if that happens. I could lose everything. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the whole point of calling the police on someone. You're a criminal, and you should be punished for your actions. You should face the consequences of what you did. Grace, please don't do this to me. I know you might not like me, but I'm still your fiancé's father. Is this any way to be treating your elders? Don't you have any respect for me? Excuse me? Wow, that's really rich. Coming from you, that's really hypocritical. But I have every right to do this because you broke the law. You assaulted my dad. You hurt him. I knew I shouldn't have tried to talk about this with a woman. Can you please just let me talk to your dad? This is something that should be settled between us men. We know what we're doing. We can handle this. Wow, did you really think that that was going to work? Did you think that jumping from elitism to sexism was going to make me want to help you? And did you think that insulting me was going to make me change my mind? Just tell me where your dad is. I just want to apologize to him. Isn't that what you think I should do? Don't you think that would make things better? I'm not going to tell you where my dad is. And frankly, I think you should just wait for the police to show up. They'll be here soon enough and then you'll have to deal with them. Please, just tell me where your dad is. This should just be between him and me. We don't need to involve anyone else. We can sort this out. Please let me know where your dad is, Grace. I'm begging you. And why would I let a criminal that assaulted my dad anywhere near him? That would just be irresponsible. And maybe that would be just putting him in danger. You don't deserve to see him. Please, stop calling me a criminal. I didn't even do anything wrong. You shouldn't be talking to me that way. You'll be my daughter-in-law, so you shouldn't be treating me like this. You're right. You're not a criminal. Yet you have to be arrested and processed first. But then after that, you're nothing but a criminal. And you'll have a record that will follow you forever. And you'll never be able to escape it. You used to pride yourself on judging others for their education. All this time you thought you could tell all that you needed about someone just from what school they went to. Well, now you'll have a very different kind of record, though I'm not sure you'll want to brag about it. Please, don't do this to me. You're going to ruin me. Don't you get it? What am I supposed to do? Please, don't punish me for this. I didn't know. I didn't know who your dad was. I really didn't know he was the president of Carco. So please, Grace, just give me one chance. I'll do anything to get your forgiveness. After that, 
Winston contacted me and told me about how the police showed up at his house to arrest his dad. He told me how his dad pleaded with them not to take him away. But seeing as how my dad's company is a major sponsor of the annual policeman's ball, the cops were more than eager to take Mario away. I know that I told Mario the wedding stuff was off, but that was just to add a little bit more pressure on him and make him sweat even more after his dad was taken away. Winston said that he had a long talk with his mom, who was going to be filing for divorce from Mario, and that they both agreed to cut Mario off and never speak to him again while he was in jail awaiting trial. Mario received a call from his company saying that he was fired for his unprofessional behavior and for ruining the business relationship with Carco. After his firing, my dad renegotiated and canceled the contract, so Mario's company wouldn't have to suffer for his foolishness. Mario tried to reach out to Winston and beg for his help to fix everything, but, but by then, both of us had already blocked his number. I have no clue what Mario is doing right now, but for the wedding, Winston and I are still going as planned. That night, we're supposed to have our family meeting. Winston came to my house and apologized sincerely to my dad. My dad shrugged it off and said that he didn't hold anything against Winston and that he still wanted us to get married. We both knew that we've been through a lot of drama, but since we're very much excited for the day when we call each other husband and wife. <laughs>